The only record of our distant past are the fragments of bone and stone our forebears left behind. As we unlock the mysteries of our past to piece together the story of humanity, how much are we learning about who we are today? What can bones tell us about who we are? Travel with one of South Africa's greatest minds on a journey of discovery to seek answers to this question. Nominated for Nobel Prize three times, Philip Tobias is a scientist who has spent his life combining his quest for truth with his strong commitment to social and political justice. Nelson Mandela awarded him South Africa's highest honor, the Order of the Southern Cross, in recognition of his enormous contribution to the scientific understanding of our human origins. Hello, I'm Philip Tobias, and I've spent virtually all my adult life teaching anatomy at Wits University Medical School. But whenever I could escape from those matters, my research obsession has been to seek out the roots of humanity, to try to find answers to such questions as, who am I? Where did I come from? When did humanity originate? And where perhaps are we going from here? The need to answer these questions is fundamental to our probing minds to our science, our, our philosophy, psychology, spirituality, our very creativity. The answers have a bearing on how we see ourselves as men and women, how we relate to other members of our species and to other species. God said, let us make man in our image after us and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth. That is the Judeo-Christian version of the creation of man. But all of the great religions, be they Islam, Buddhism, Confucianism, Taoism, Zoroastrianism, have their own creation stories. I cannot sit here and say which one is right and which one is wrong. But what I can do is to show you another approach to the coming of life and of humans on Earth. I've devoted much of my life to the pursuit of science. Science is a way of ordering information by constructing provable hypotheses around how things are, how things work, and how they have come to be. It attempts to demystify the mysteries. Richard Dawkins of Oxford University is a great contemporary thinker, a leading exponent of science, who has offered forthright answers 
to many of the important questions about life on Earth. <laughs> Is it perhaps too neat? Have you taken all the mystery away? Is there any mystery I hope in not. life? I, <laughs> I think that, that any science is vulnerable to the accusation of, by taking away the mystery, somehow taking away the magic and making it um, dull or dry or cold. And nothing could be further from the truth. And uh, there are people who will go for uh, a kind of superstitious explanation for things yeah. rather than really trying to understand. And I think those people need to be told the beauty of understanding, what an immense privilege it is to be allowed to understand the world in which we live and where we've come from and why we are the way that we are. I was born in 1925 in Durban, South Africa.